Hello. My name's Casey Jones. I have a company called Innovations For You, and I'm here to try and raise £100,000 investment for which I'm prepared to offer 30% equity. The product that I'd like to present to you today is a self-contained, multi-purpose sterilising unit. It doesn't use heat, it doesn't use chemicals, it doesn't use water or sterilising fluid to achieve 99.8% sterilisation of bacteria and viruses. As a demonstration, I'm going to show you a pair of shoes and to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some cheese. <laughs> Both shoes and cheese smell because of live bacteria. Is this going to involve sniffing shoes afterwards, if Mr. You want Jones? To. I'll get the cheese at the back. What's actually occurring in there is quite high technology. It's the same technology that the uh, spacecraft use, uh, both the Russian Cosmos program and NASA. And it's nano silver technology. Now, we've known for thousands of years that silver has strong antibacterial properties. What we're actually doing here is breaking silver down into nanoparticles and bombarding the inside with nanoparticles. Now, because it doesn't use chemicals, you can actually put anything in this machine, from baby's bottles, electrical equipment, and it will sterilise it. Because I'll be talking of shoes, I started off with podiatrists and chiropodists. I only actually started selling this just over two months ago, and I've sold 200 machines so far in the two months. But I've also had inquiries from Australia that want to um, distribute it on my behalf. I'm working with Norway anyway that want to distribute it on my behalf. And because I've been working with the manufacturers, they've given me exclusivity for distribution in those countries. Your lights have gone out. Oh. The Dragons are used to sniffing out investment opportunities in the den. Now Casey Jones hopes to take that one step further with his enthusiastic pitch of his high-tech sterilising unit. But will the seeming absence of the smell of Stilton from one shoe persuade the Dragons to spend £100,000 on 30% of his business? Hello, Casey. I'm Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Well, I've heard great words like nano silver. I'd love to invest in a product that's got Casey Jones behind it and it does nano silver. Yeah. How much do they sell at? Um, I'm selling it currently at 2 99 plus VAT. And what are you buying them for? They're coming in at me with the, with the duty and everything, £89. So what, what do you see as applications? I've got machines out at the moment being trialled in um, gymnasiums and health clubs. Because when people come and they do a workout in a gymnasium, the trainers may be damp, they put them away in their bag till next week. When you consider the cost of a pair of trainers alone, this extends the life of a pair of trainers. I don't want to just concentrate on shoes because, as I said, it's a general purpose steriliser. What I intend to do next is to tackle the, uh, the domestic market so that everybody has one of these in their home. Casey is clear and confident on his numbers, but Theo Pafitis wants to know how unique the technology really is. Is there other people manufacturing th these type of machines other than the people you're buying from? No. Are they covered by any patent? It, they are in... Uh, yeah, th the manufacturer is fully covered. So nobody else could create these no. machines? I don't believe that. The technology, as I believe, I mean... <laughs> So no technology. I don't believe that. Now, what about my new washing machine with silver nanotechnology built in? Yes, they are. They're trying to get silver nanotechnology. They're in. not trying. They're done. They are doing it. Yes, that's yeah. right, because it's the, it's the in thing. Other people must be able to produce these machines. Is that not correct? If you don't know, say, I don't know. 
I don't know. I do know that the, the, the design... Uh, the design's one thing, yeah, but the actual yeah. technology... I don't know, then. Right, you don't know. Sorry. It's an honest answer, but it's not reassuring the dragons. Richard Farley has other concerns. I can't ever visualise why I would ever want this in my home. Well, the usage is everything around the home that, that people get... Like, I put my cutlery in there and my crockery, and, yeah, but, and but, um, I, I but put everything Casey, in Casey, I'm there. starting to think that you might be a bit paranoid about all right. these germs around you. <laughs> because we all live, we survive, and in fact, you can over-sterilise your environment and you lose all your, all your immunity. So I can't see it in every home. Um, so then you sort of think, well, you've, you've, you've done very well for a couple of months, very quickly. So, you know, maybe there's something with all these other markets. Um, but maybe that, you know, there's only so many chiropodists and podiatrists. 12,500. I, I, I don't want to invest, you know. That? No. I, I don't, but I just don't, you know, if there's 12,000 chiropodists and you, you've done 100, you're making... Uh... Casey. Yeah. I disagree with Richard. I actually would love to have one in my home because I think there's loads of things that you would like to sterilise. Sorry, Theo, can I ask you a question? Can you just tell me one of those? Well, we talk, we've talked about cutlery, we talk about food, children's clothing, other things around the house that cats. need cleaning. Cats. Spectacles. Cats. Yeah, Dogs. Things, no, things that they use. <laughs> cats. You know, cats. Dogs. Okay. Now you've got a market. I bought okay. into the fact you'd have one in your house because I've smelt your shoes. <laughs> you didn't have to, you did that by choice. But you're, you're only an agent. This is not your product. Yeah. I actually don't believe that this company are the only people with the technology because you've already told me it was used on a space mission. If the fact is that other people can produce these machines, there'll be a whole array of these machines with different brands appearing and the competition will just be too fierce. And those are the reasons why I won't be investing. Sorry, Casey, I'm out. Thanks. Theo Pafitis might want one of Casey's sterilizers in his home, but he doesn't want to buy into the business. Can Casey persuade one of the four remaining dragons to back him to the tune of £100,000? Casey, I'll, I'll tell you where I am. Please, whatever you do, you've been a fire officer, and it's probably the best job in the world, as far as I'm concerned, saving people's lives. Save your own life and don't, don't spend too much money on this. Do something else. I hope this is a bit of a part-time bit of play and a bit of fun. So I'm out, but good luck. Sorry about that. Thanks. Casey, you know, I, I believe you when you say that there is a market in the chiropodists. Thank you. They could use it, and you have suggested they would have them in health clubs. You know, quite often I see people who come along with a business idea, and I think, I would buy the product, but, not the but I wouldn't invest in the business yeah. because there is no business. So I would continue doing what you're doing. And, and do it great and go around a few health clubs, you might sell a few, go and shop it, you'll sell a few. But there isn't a huge market. So for that reason, Casey, I mean, much as I'd love to deal with somebody called Casey Jones, it's such a great name, uh, I can't, so I'm out. Two dragons, two very different takes on the future of Casey's business. But one conclusion, Duncan Bannatyne and Peter Jones are both out. Deborah Meaden seems to have made her mind up too. Casey, I'll say where I am. You start off with this product, you sell 100 a month in the first two months. Now, you know, normally businesses do this and off they go, and, and therefore that would indicate that there's a huge market there. The only issue, and it's a big issue, is that I think this is going to become readily available. It doesn't stop you selling them if you've cornered a particular market. My worry is it will dry up, and it will only dry up because... There will be lots of other people coming and do it and you won't have it yourself anymore and you won't be able to get figures like 100 a month instantly. At the moment, it's a novelty, yeah. you know, and it is, you know, it's, it's, it's nano, it's got the word nano yeah. attached to it, you know, that's great. So, I... Deborah, I before you show your hand too quickly... <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I'm just wondering if it's worth taking a punt for half of this. It, it is making £10,000 a month at the current rate. Yes. And I'm absolutely and certain. And you, you believe you have not touched the sides, because I don't believe the household market. I haven't touched the sides. But you don't sides. believe, you believe you haven't touched the sides in terms of chiropodists and podiatrists. No. And I believe if I ordered a container tomorrow, which I would like to do... Which will cost you how much? Um, it cost me £35,000. 
Right. And I believe by the time the container was here, I'd have the people lined up for them. And you I'm also tell us that this company has the exclusivity to this technology yes. in the UK and yes. maybe wherever else. Yes. So there is not going to be a competitor on the market. I think that's the question I, uh, that I had to say to Theo, I didn't know, but yeah, I think. Well, that would be a condition of any investment from me that it is very clear that there's not going to be a competitor to this technology in the UK. Anyway, assuming that, uh, I'll make you an offer. I would give you uh, half the money and we'll be looking for, for the total to get half the business. So half the money for 25%. It's a dramatic turnabout from Richard Farley, who thinks he's spotted a potentially lucrative opportunity that his rival dragons have missed. But he's only willing to put up half the investment. Will Deborah Meaden, the only other dragon still in, change her mind and make up the rest? You heard what I was about to, about to say. I think my issue, and I've never disagreed that this will, you will sell some, but I think there is a finite end to this product. Yeah. I have to say at that level, I would invest. And I would invest because it allows me to get a return yes. within that period of time. And then I don't have to worry about what's going to happen in five years' time or two years' time or three years' time. So I would be prepared to invest at that level and offer you £50,000 for... 25% of the business. Casey has an offer for the full £100,000 he came for, but the Dragons are demanding half of his business in return, not the 30% originally on offer. 50 is a huge chunk. I mean, I... Yeah, but Casey, you know how it is. You know, things go wrong. You know, businesses fail. You know, when you're down on your the offers. Falls and over. Casey, to be perfectly honest, I was about to go out. And the reason I was, and I explained the reasons why I was, there is a huge risk to this product becoming, obs well, not obsolete, just flooded. 50%. Yeah, it's got to be 40. It's got to be 40. Not me, I'm afraid, Casey. There's got to be enough reward in this yes. for me because I think it's got, to, it's got its moment. It's got to happen quickly. I think with us on board, it will happen quickly. I want it to happen quickly. So, I couldn't do it without you. I'd love you both on board. Excellent. Mm. Terrific. Terrific. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Halfway through his pitch, Casey Jones looked doomed to fail. <laughs> But the den is never predictable and he leaves with a £100,000 investment and two highly experienced new business partners. I think it's a good investment, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, pretty good good Unless well we've done. missed something very obvious, he's making £10,000 a month, isn't he? Well, Casey, I didn't think you were going to get that, did you? No, I certainly didn't when they all started dropping out. Deborah was about to go. Deborah, before you show your hand too quickly, <laughs> I'm just wondering if it's worth taking a punt for half of this. Now, the weakest bit was when Richard was asking you what you used this product oh, for, no. and you didn't actually have no. that many great ideas around the home, did you? I've got a list two pages long. But you weren't but telling us what that was on no. that list. I just dried up on that completely. Yeah. So, look, you've given away 50%. Mm -hmm. 50%. Yeah, it's got to be 40. It's got to be 40. You, uh, you feeling happy about that or are you feeling... I've won two dragons. That's what I'm happy about. And that's going to make a difference in my company. But you've still got to prove to them that there aren't going to be other competitors to that product... Absolutely. ..in the UK. You're confident of that, right? Absolutely confident that I can get there, I can reach the finishing post before they've, they've taken off. OK, well, very, very well done. Thanks very well much. Done, Casey. Thank you.